Hi, welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom here at Jamaica.com. I'm Ozzik. This is Hannah. Um, today is a, well, we lost the honey. Uh, sort of a somber day, though, in uh, remembrance of uh, 9-11. I know that uh, Hannah, where you were where, you were living in Baltimore at the time? Yes, I was in school. You were in school. Okay, yes. were, you, were you actually in school? I was it? actually in school, and I remember the principal coming in and taking my teacher out, and I remember my teacher's face going, like, and that's just something you don't forget. Right. I, mean, I, was, I was in school as well, but I was in graduate school at the time. And I was at Georgetown, actually, and the, I remember watching the, the plane go into the Pentagon and watching the Pentagon burn, and I'm like, I think it's time for me to, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, to go yeah. home. And uh, we spent the next, like, you know, three, four days just glued to the television. Yeah. My uh-huh. father was actually stuck in San Diego. Thankfully, he... Was, he was supposed to fly that day, and right. he was ended up just having to stay in San Diego for like five or six days until they uh, until the, they opened up the skies again. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's obviously. Uh, I mean, I know we're in in our into Rosh Hashanah season, and obviously we have uh, you know apples and honey, which is where we're where we're going with this. I actually have apples in the office as well, I and mean, I, I completely forgot about it. But um, you know, we obviously want to remember yeah. tragic. You know, you know, life-changing events for, for the country, I think. Yep, and all of the, you know, men and women, the first responders, and all of those people who, you know, ran towards the danger to, you know, yeah. save as many people as they possibly could. Exactly. So, uh, in recognition of, of that, we'll talk about, today we want to go to the honey dishes. Um, so, you know, you, the, the point of the honey is obviously, we, we in Rosh Hashanah, is that we should have a sweet, a sweet new year. Obviously, that definitely, everything's falling through that. Um, we should have a sweet new year from uh, you know things that are you know that might have happened in the past, and we should you know hopefully the next year we won't have to deal with those with those issues. Yes. Um, so what do we have here? We have we have a number of honey on our site on Jamaica We have we have a ton of honey dishes. This people like to make honey. It's one of those things that people make. Yes. Like, but where where are we at here? What are we doing here, Tom? So we have a couple of. Um, popular artists, some of the three, just a little selection of honey dishes, kind of three very drastically different Yeah, I would say. Dishes. I would say we're looking at different types of uh, yeah. honey dishes. This one is, what is this? That is an Emmanuel piece. It's a nice, it's a little bit larger, so you could actually do it as a honey dish, or if you want to put one of the simanim in there as right. like a condiment dish. Right. It's actually in the shape of a pomegranate, which right. is, again, another popular um, symbol for the yes. holiday, right? We're going to use the pomegranate, especially because we want to uh, have as many mitzvos like the uh, like the inside seeds of the pomegranate. Yep. Um, and, and this kind of thing is good for if you're at the head of the table yes. and you're distributing the challah or the honey it's, or the apples yes. and honey. It's like uh, you know, like one person does it, and uh, what's going on, Jay? Um, and one person does it. Um, so we have this, this one sort of, that's good for, like, it holds a lot of honey, right? Yes. Obviously, these are sort of individual size honeys, and you can see, you can probably <laughs> fill, you know, you probably get a couple of them in here, right? Yeah. You can get, get a few more, and then we just pop oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and then that fits real well. Um, what's nice about this is that it does come in the traditional red as pomegranate, and it also comes in just a silver color as and, well. Yeah, oh, it comes in two colors. Yes. And it's also pretty easy to clean because yes. these things are notoriously annoying to clean because obviously you're dealing with honey. Yes. Um, I don't think I would put this in the dishwasher. No. I but, think I would avoid the dishwasher with this guy. But nice hot water, rinse it out, you're good to go. It's not like one of those ones that you can get wet. And it's, I think it's very pretty. Yeah. It certainly has a lot of, like it's the, the color is a deep, deep color. Yeah. All right, now what do we got here? This one. That is a ceramic one. This one's a little bit more... Dainty. Dainty. I'm going to say like almost like a sugar thing for a tea set, but oh, it's honey. Right. I mean, it does say divash, which is the word for honey on the top of it, and it has a space for a spoon. That's a nice scroll work here going on some paintings. Yep, it is hand painted. Ha- this is hand painted. Yes. Okay, so this is, a, this is a pretty classy piece. Um, mm-hmm. Comes with a little dish, drip dish, essentially. I'm not sure it goes with it. It does. It really? Yeah, the blue, some of the blue. It goes. Okay. I don't trust your judgment. It does not come with a spoon, though. It does not. And neither does this one. Correct. Um, you'll have to supply your own spoon with this. This one, again, it's, it's, this one can go either way. You can mm-hmm. either have it, you know, individually by different stations along the table or by the, the head of the table when they're passing the stuff out. Mm-hmm. Then we go over to here, 
these are, what are these? These are, I don't know if you can see them. They are, looks like little like uh, beehives. Yeah. That's what I would say, with a little bit of bee on top of it. It comes, you know, inside looks like that. It comes with a spoon, a little cute little spoon, a little uh, beehive spoon. Um, and you get four of them in the, in the package. And this kind of thing is, it holds, this will probably hold, maybe this is an ounce, so it's probably half an ounce, yeah. it'll probably hold about half an ounce of honey, which is enough for one person, maybe right. two. You can do these things and sort of spread them around the table so that if you're, it's like my house where some kids like honey on their challah and some kids will run away from the table without <laughs> honey on their challah. Right. Um, it allows everyone to adjust the honey at their own, exactly. at their own pace, yeah. which is cool. And it's, um, they're really, really unique. They're really, uh, I think these are very intricate. They've got the little bees. And I don't know about you, but my mother loves to put on like intricate little things like this on when she, yeah. when she sets up her table. So these kinds of things work. In fact, I think she might even have, I don't know if she has, she, from the same designer, she has other stuff that yeah, she Yeah, they come in in apple shape as well. So you can get the bees with the little spoon and the beehive look, or you can get, um, I think, they're either red or multicolor apples. Okay. A set of four as well. You can mix and match, get eight. So we're, um, we don't sell the honey on our site. Uh, I think we could, but. Not yet. Not yet. Um, and we've actually featured this tray here before. Uh, mm -hmm. This doesn't come with any of the things. We just needed something to put on so you could see. Um, see the things, but this is a, a Jerry Klein piece that you and that is available on our it site. It is, and what's nice is this actually also has pomegranates on it as oh, well. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't even did not even notice that. Yes. Look at this. I selected this, and it's a pomegranate related as well. Yes. Which is good. So we like pomegranates, apples, honey, bees. It's a you know it's a it's a full service uh, full service holiday. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So what the next few weeks actually are going to be quite interesting. We have. I'm excited to announce today because I'm pretty confident in it. Okay. We're going to have a couple of authors come in over the next few weeks. Okay. We have a children's book author. Fine. And uh, some more scholarly author coming in to, uh, to talk about their new books. Uh, new books, old books, whatever it is. Uh, next week, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we're going to have a children's book author in. Okay. Um, and we're going to tie, I know we announced last week that we were going to tie in a giveaway. Yes. So we are going to tie the giveaway into the children's book author. Mm -hmm. We're going to be giving away, you'll see, tune in next week to see who it is and what we're giving away. But we're going to be giving away some children's books, so I think would be pretty cool. Okay. Um, and what else? Anything else? Oh, again, pimping the new site. Yes. If you do go to the new site, you will be able to see a little little picture up on the top. On the top. You me. might see Hannah's face asking you if she can help you. Yes. So just so you know. That's Hanna, I'm Azik. Yes. Code Wisdom for yep. Wednesday Wisdom. Yep, 5% off. So. And uh, thank you for joining us at Jacob.com. Yep. And uh, have a good week, and we'll see you uh, next week.